In today's HealthCast, a condition many consider to be the number one cause of hearing problems in children, but one that often goes misdiagnosed. Local 10 medical specialist Christy Kruger has details on the common infection in the middle ear that can affect hearing and learning. This is a science project. It no wasn't way. until four-year-old Lydia started preschool that her mother realized there was something wrong with her daughter's language skills. Her teacher said she's not repeating sounds properly, she's not repeating things, she's not picking this up. And, you know, two or three hours into class, she's laying her head down on the table and just completely withdrawing. A trip to the pediatrician led to a hearing test, and that revealed the source of Lydia's language issues, a condition called glue ear. This is like uh, a very simple term that we have been using for so long for patients and mainly kids that have very thick fluid in their ear. Dr. Ramiz Yunus, a pediatric ear, nose and throat specialist at UHealth, says the fluid buildup typically starts as a result of an infection. In most cases, it resolves on its own. L. But there are kids like Lydia. Once we document all of this, the next step, the standard treatment of care is to remove the fluid and place tubes. Little Lydia had the surgery over spring break. Though Dana was nervous about putting her daughter under general anesthesia, she says the difference was well worth it. Lydia comes to me probably halfway through her first week back at school. Everything sounds different. I said, it does. How does it sound? She said, I can hear everything really well now. Beans tied hands. And that's what you want. Now, interestingly enough, the tubes just fall out on their own within a few months. Parents would never even know unless a doctor told them. Now, for most kids, it is a permanent fix, but about 20% may need a second surgery if they get another big fluid buildup. That's today's HealthCast. Back to you, Victor.